Hi, R.D. Barry here. Welcome to episode 2 in my basic tutorial, previous experience not necessary, of They Are Billions. This is the screen where uh, that comes up when you first start the program. Um, if you first starting the game, the only difference is um, that you will not see a continue button the first or option the first time. You'll just see a new game. Um, and I'll go over some of these other things later, I guess. Um, right now, we're just I'm just going to show how to. Um, pick a new game and which uh, mode you should play. So I'll start a new game and there are four modes available. There's campaign, survival, challenge of the week, and custom level. Um, what these are, uh, campaign is basically a story mode. Um, you start out with very um, well, I won't say easy, but relatively easy uh, uh, missions, and you complete each mission, and you graduate to uh, more and more difficult ones. And there's actually um, a story to uh, to a certain extent. Um, survival is more uh, randomly generated. Um, missions uh the um maps that you look at are uh generated um randomly in campaign they they use all custom designed maps that uh are aimed to teach you a specific thing um and challenge of the week um i don't think you have to worry about that as a new player um Basically, they the devs I think create these um, weekly uh, challenge missions, and um, those I think are basically meant for players who've been are very experienced and can do very well on them. Um, just a warning: um, if you do decide to accept the challenge and play one. First of all, you cannot repeat the map. Uh, they don't want people um, uh, picking and, and uh, figuring out what they're trying over and over again to get better scores. And uh, once you uh, accept the challenge, your name and score will be on the list and available to the public. So do not do that unless you're comfortable with that. Um, custom levels. Uh, it, this is if you know there's a map editor in the game, and you can players can create their own uh, or missions to complete. Um, those are generally more difficult than uh, the. Uh, the main game so basically I think as a beginner you really only have to worry about the first two and um, there are two, several or there are um, different opinions on this some people like the survival game some people like the campaign I personally recommend if you're a new player to start with a campaign because that is as close as you can get to an actual tutorial for the game um, they start you out on, like I said, they, they start you out on relatively easy levels and they get gradually more difficult. In survival game, game you can set a difficulty level, but, and you have to, you kind of have to manage that yourself. Plus they tend to throw a lot of the features of the game at you at once. And, uh, so it's really kind of meant for for people who have at least started the campaign. Um, fun fact, when they first released the game, they didn't uh, have a campaign. They just had uh, survival. And a lot of the players, early players of the game, 
um, just played survival every time and uh, they got really good at that and then they looked at this campaign thing and there's a lot of things different about it and they didn't like it so um, that's I think a one reason why you'll see a lot of people advocating survival over campaign um, I'm sure there's people who have tried started with a campaign and that are and still preferred survival but um, to each his own I guess um, so anyway as a new player I suggest going with campaign I'll just start that and sh show you what happens uh, you're asked to put in a name and you could put in your name or um, whatever you want to put in here I usually put in um, some kind of uh, indicator of which level that's or which difficulty level that's gonna be so easy and then some other identifiable identifier, identifier like one two three or in this case I'm just gonna call it a basic tutorial okay and um got the L there oh I don't have enough all right let's just say easy basic then or easy basic DUT there all right I guess you don't have that many letters to play with so right and when you press OK then you'll get the first cut cutscene and uh, I'm not going to include that uh, this is a tutorial not a let's play and then we will start with the actual um, uh, the actual uh, start of the playthrough and I'll start on that next time so I will sign off for now we'll continue next time with the first part of the um, uh, the playthrough which is the hero selection part um, there's a whole bunch to talk about with that and unfortunately even though you have to select it at the very start it doesn't really come into play right away so um, I will talk about uh, talk about that a little bit next time um, later on I'll talk about like controls and whatnot so I hope you'll join me for that, and until then, bye.